What is a qubit? You think of a coin, which you, you would toss in the air and it can be either heads or tails. So that's an intuitive picture of the world. This thing is either heads or it is tails. A quantum coin could indeed have the property that it would be heads or tails. But the difference between quantum mechanics and classical theory is that an object like a coin, a quantum coin, can also be in what we call a superposition of heads and tails. That means that it can be in a state where it is 30% heads and 70% tails, or 40% heads and 60% tails, or any combination, any mixture of heads and tails. And that is a perfectly legitimate description of the state of the configuration of this thing, a real physical object that would behave that way. Uh, particles like electrons, for example, have a property called 